hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel um some years back uh, there was so much jubilation coming from the north that oil have been discovered uh the very oil that has been causing so much issues in nigeria in fact one of the major uh source of income for nigeria foreign exchange forex actually but right now um a lot of nigerians and experts are beginning to wonder how through is this oil exploration as um findings facts and figures are actually showing a different thing well they've taken time to explain exactly what may, may likely allegedly may be going on uh, but we're going to find out how through uh, we are through we're going to try back to you to you know the sapphire is it is it possible uh, that there's something sinister going on or do we truly have all in quantum in the north well before going to the news proper I would like you to subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it you see bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well one year after the discovery of over 1 billion barrels of crude oil in the north the federal government and the nigerian national petroleum corporation limited are yet to come clean on the true state of activities in the nation's inland basins the minister of state for petroleum resources that's temporary silver last year said about 1 billion barrels of crude oil have been discovered in the northeast adding that there was need for more exploration to be undertaken from the evaluation results that we are we are getting the reserve that has been discovered in the northeast is about a billion barrels those are the kinds of figures that we are seeing and we are beginning to understand the geological structure of the region the minister stated seen by many as president Mohammed waris pet project which started over 40 years ago siva's announcement followed an earlier statement by the nnpc in the third quarter of 2019 which stated that crude gas and condensates were discovered in komani river region at a bordered community between bauchi and gombe state that announcement was made eight months after buhari flagged off exploration activities at komani river too well on the upper benue trough and congola basin in the northeast but stakeholders who spoke with with us yesterday expressed concerns over the secrecy surrounding the exploration in the north as nnpc which had pledged to be transparent and accountable and currently partnering the extractive industries transparency initiative eiti is yet to publish its spending on the activities while the nnpc publishes monthly audited operational and financial reports spending at its frontier exploration services is excluded the 40-year spending has been kept away from public along with critical data on how the country arrived at one billion barrel discovered in gongola basin some geologists explorationists and energy experts are equally raising concerns over the viability and reliability of one billion crude oil reserve in the region as the country's total reserves and daily production remain on the downward lookout or outlook there are indications that the new nigerian development company limited owned by the 19 northern states which had in 2007 won the all prospecting license 809 and 810 in the gongola basin may be operating the blocks without renewal based on extant regulations once a company wins the block a signature bonus will be paid and a contract signed with a work program as well as the performance bond attached to the program it was also learned that while the ND NNDC did not follow these processes but held to the blocks of 14 years after this is happening, even though all blocks were meant to be renewed or revoked after a specific period, as details of possible renewal or extension remain elusive, compounded by what some stakeholders described as arbitrariness in the handling of OML 11 and 17 as well as divestment by players in the sector the prevailing development is raising fresh serious concerns over the level of opacity and poor management of industry under the watch of president muhammad buhari 
Amidst the declining value of crude oil and weak investment outlook, the, f the federal government had insisted that exploring the frontier basin, which is mainly in the north, remains sacrosanct as 30% of the NNPC's profit has already been earmarked for such exploration activities. Some of the inland basins are Anambra Basin, the rift basin called Benet Rough, which is segmented into upper, middle, and lower parts, Mid Niger or Bida Basin, Chad or Bornu Basin, and Sokoto Basin, which is Eluminden. While all majors had ventured into the basins without success, activities came on stream across basins in the northeast especially lake chad and gungola basin as soon as Bari returned to office but met with criticisms by stakeholders and civil society organizations the criticisms were not primarily against prospecting for crude oil but timing political undertone secrecy and general handling of the plan a member of the governing board of NEITI, who is also the director, Institute for Oil, Gas, Energy, Environment, and Sustainable Development, OGEES Institute at Alpha Babalola University, Prof. Damilola Olawuyi, noted that the federal government must provide clear, very, very, very viable very data on commercially viable fields progress so far made the challenges that remain and the next steps forward according to him such transparencies and clarity will provide relevant information for prospective market participants to pro properly evaluate the opportunities available and the investment contest Ola we noted that after a prospect is technically and commercially viable a lot of other regulatory steps have to be taken before prospect can move to full production and commercialization for example a development plan has to be sub submitted to the relevant authorities for review and approval similarly the right to drill must be secured through competitive bidding process before drilling can begin while it is quite discouraging that several of these next steps have proceeded rather slowly in the north it does not call for this despair oil and gas production activities worldwide are currently undergoing complex challenges in light of the ongoing global energy transition which has continued to limit the availability of financial finances for new oil and gas asset also the sector is recovering from oil price volatility which has resulted in all forms of production quarters and limits for existing and new production activities allow we said an industry insider who pleaded anonymity noted that the government needs to come clean become accountable and transparent in handling the exploration activities in the northern region the source who is also a geologist is also unconvinced about the discoveries that the government claim have been made in the gongola basin stressing that viable information on how the government arrived at the discoveries was necessary according to him the roles of the frontier exploration services also need to be clear and streamlined to provide critical data that would aid investment in those basins while noting that there was need to explore oil across the country limiting the activities to a few inland basins in the north amount to a political jamboree instead of economic consideration. A leading geologist, Tony Akinosho, described the Gongola Basin discovery by NNPC as tight information. Referring to Siva, Akinosho said, I recall that someone said 1 billion barrels, but that could, but that could mean oil in place and not proven as well as well as not tested. The CEO, Nigerian Oil and Gas Power Forum and Managing Partner, BBH consultant Ama Madaki said the announcement by the government on oil and gas discoveries in the north were more political than economic or technical. For years, the government has been wasting scarce resources on frontier basin exploration without meaningful result. If indeed there is a fine of 1 billion barrels in reserves in the north, why are oil and gas companies not scrambling for the acres? Mm. Like most absurd policies in the energy sector, this is another clear example of a directionless policy and an attempt to use propaganda to manage the economy with disastrous consequences for dwindling production and reserves. Sustained oil and gas production at high volumes is driven by investment and a stable operating environment, he noted. A leading energy expert, Professor Wumi Iladari, explained that there were categories of petroleum reserves at discovery including proven reserves with a high degree of 
certainty of re recoverability. A 50-50 recoverability reserve called probably reserves, while the third category is possible reserves with only 10% recoverability chance with current technology and economic condition. Il Iladari said the categories of reserve announced by the government is perhaps known to the government and others and the data are not in public domain. As of press time, the spokesperson of NNPC, Gabba Din Mohammed, was yet to respond to phone calls on the matter while an aid to, the C to Silva Horadios Egwe claimed to have no information on the matter. Mm, this is serious. Let's meet in the comments.